Hi, I'm Brent from Instructor Gadget. Malware comes in many different forms, such as viruses, adware, and spyware. Viruses are going to try to infect your computer and corrupt files, whereas adware is going to bombard you with annoying ads. Spyware is going to try to steal your information. I want to make sure that your computer is protected, as well as give you some tips and tricks in order to avoid an infection. The most important step you can take to protect yourself from malware is making sure that you have an anti-malware program installed, such as Norton or McAfee. Some anti-malware programs require that you pay a yearly subscription. These packages tend to include additional tools to help you stay completely protected. Others find that the basic protection offered for free by services such as AVG or Microsoft Security Essentials fits their needs. In order to make sure that our virus security protection is enabled, we will first need to visit the control panel. To do so, click on the Start button in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Within the Start menu, click on the control panel. Once you have opened the control panel, click on System and Security. Then, click on Action Center. To view your security settings, click on the arrow next to Security. If you need to, use the scroll bar on the right hand side and scroll down until you see Virus Protection as well as Spyware and Unwanted Software Protection. You will need to check that both are on. You can also view which anti-spyware programs are installed by clicking on this link. You will see in this case that we have Microsoft Security Essentials on but Windows Defender is off. It is not uncommon for your anti-malware program to turn off other programs. This is because the anti-malware program is serving the purpose of both programs, and it is not necessary to run both as they may be in conflict. You will notice that we can review additional security settings here. To change any of these settings, we will need to return to the System and Security page by using the back arrow in the top left-hand corner of the window. Here we can change the status of our firewall as well as Windows Update. In addition to having anti-malware software installed, I want to offer you four tips. Don't open suspicious looking emails. Don't download files including email attachments unless you are 100% certain that they are safe, even if it's from a friend. Only visit reputable websites and avoid chain emails and forwards. By properly protecting your computer you can avoid malware. Nevertheless, it's important to make sure your files are backed up, so check out our tutorial on backing up your files and your computer. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Instructor Gadget. I encourage you to visit our website, InstructorGadget.com, for more tutorials as well as additional resources.